I saw a vision of Jesus. Um, it wasn't just like my own imagination or anything, but I'm convinced that was a vision because I've never been sick then. One, three o'clock in the morning on my window, I saw him, and he looked like the Shroud of Turin. And he spoke to me and he said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And he said, um, little flock, do not worry. The Father is ready to give you the kingdom. So it was really a shock to me because I didn't experience all this when I was in Nigeria. I never did. So it was a shock to me. I'm not saying it's what made me sick, though. But the only thing was when you encounter the metaphysical or the supernatural, not everybody will be able to handle it. So I really couldn't handle that. Yeah, it was too much for me. And um, it was like after that I was waking up every three o'clock. In three o'clock in the night. So after this, when we, uh, I was so out of this world in Chicago that when we were flying back, instead of a normal airplane flying in the air, I felt we were flying inside the ocean. That's how I felt. I was praying and you know, praying in tongues sometimes. That the superior was said, "Is it what are you doing?" I said, "I'm praying." When I came back, they put me in the hospital, not a mental hospital, psychiatry. They said, is it that you haven't slept, you haven't rested, you haven't drunk, you haven't eaten. All you have been doing is praying. And so I was in Braham Hospital in Boston, and I was there for a whole night. When I was there, too, I was in a different existence. Yeah, yeah. So. Um, they gave me shots to make me to sleep. I couldn't sleep. I was like climbing different steps. It's like a sort of world and you start seeing yourself in different existence. Like going one step after the other like a big building and seeing people, colors, blue, white, yellow, and seeing different things. And I was wondering, is this what heaven is like or what? Uh -huh. And then I didn't know, but the next time I woke up, I was in a mental hospital. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that was the greatest shock of my life. And